What's up, everybody? It's Alex from Heavy New York back at the Gramercy Theater, and we got round three with Max Cavalera of Soulfly. Thank you for your time, man. Thank you. Good to be here, brother. Yeah. It's yeah. great to have you here. This is the venue's first metal show of 2019, so uh, they're, they're looking forward to the show tonight. We're very happy, and, and uh, like I said, man, it's uh, all new, new album, uh, new tour, new songs, finally. Um, which is so good to to finally play new stuff, and I mean we love the the old. Song. I mean I've been I've been saying to the crowd uh, a couple of times when we play Eye for an Eye, I I say this is more your song now than mine. <laughs> you know, it's like it belongs more to them than it does to me. And uh, but it's really cool that we get to play, inject the new songs in the set. Yeah, that just makes everything change and different and cool and exciting. You know and we have a really good lineup, man. Solid. Zion's killing on the drums, and Rizzo, it was Rizzo. Yeah, there, right. it, there's, you don't need to say nothing. Just say, all you gotta say is Rizzo. And uh, Mike's killing on the bass. Uh, so it's a really good lineup. Um, and the tour is really great, too. You know, we got Insights, you know, kicking ass every night. Cataclysm is great. And, uh, and, and, and Soulfly doing what we do, you know. It's, uh, so it's, um, yeah, it's just really happy to be back on the road back uh touring which is uh, i'm born to do you know definitely now at this point ritual being the latest record being that you know soulfly has so many albums out do you still take a new approach to every record that you make or at this point in your career you kind of have like a formula that you always stick with with writing no, I mean, what is interesting is to see what happens to the songs, you know, when you when you make the record. Because when you make the, 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 the album, you don't really know what's going to happen to the, to the songs. And it's kind of not even in your hand anymore. Uh, you throw it out there. And some songs become classics and some songs become forgotten. And they will never play them again, you know. They go into some void <laughs> that they never come back from it you know Very true. Um, so uh, you know but it's definitely a challenge um, I think it's cool it's a challenge for us after at least you know so flies 20 years of career and then I have my other back half you know with Sepultura and all that um, to be excited for a new album and get all the killer reviews that Ritual got was really at this point was really uh, phenomenal you know it was like wow this is really great that this is happening you know uh because i think it's it's it, it, it's really hard um for artists after so many years to maintain the excitement yeah. you know it's really hard and uh but there's ways to do it but it's hard you know you gotta really push yourself and really be hungry and, and, and creative and all those things and work with the right people and uh, I think we did the right choices for Ritual and I couldn't be happier with the record man I think we made absolutely the the best record we could make right now definitely definitely sounds like that one thing I was always curious about is and we talked a little bit about it last time is is that I know that you have you put a lot of thoughts into the meanings of your songs with everything you've done and you know you address many different concepts do you need to hear music to come up with lyrics behind your music or does sometimes like a concept or subject matter determine the music itself yeah it's all different uh, different ways there's some stuff that um, there's some songs that actually like I came up with the chorus before I even read the lyrics. The pro like prophecy, I I wake up woke up with the prophecy chorus in my head for some reason and became a song right away, which was uh, insane, you know. So and then other stuff you just kind of have like grab a subject and the mood of the song will lean towards that subject anyway was the case of dead behind the eyes on the ritual was really into the whole hellraiser vibe i was watching the movies and reading about hellraiser and cenobites and all that crazy world and the music was like yeah you know so like angry and heavy and adrenaline food and fueled and it was like perfect for each other you know so and I, I, I think uh, this record, um, it was cool because I was I, I really tried to um, 
find powerful worlds that work with the music you know so in the case of ritual the song ritual um i love the the, the phrasing like refugee you know crawling back to me my inner health sets free you know ritual aggression and then comes the chorus it was like really strong words that really with the riff and the music they were like made hand in hand you know and there was a lot of also experimental stuff on ritual like under rapture is crazy i think it's like three songs in one you got the trash beginning the death metal morbid angel emulation and then you got the industrial god flash ending you know it's like it's three songs in one yeah. but it's cool that's what makes it cool you know i think it's like uh keep pushing the boundaries and then you got stuff like feedback it's like motorhead with yeah. new york hardcore ending yeah. you know <laughs> i first thought of agnostic front when I I totally that. like chromax and af and you know even hate breed you know like with a no no, I can see Jamie doing that. Yeah, you know? Hard. You know that, what he always says. <laughs> yeah, it's so um, fucking cool, man. It's, it's, it was a, it's a fun record to make, and I want to keep making fun records like this because that's, that's what it's all about anyway. Yeah, I feel like you are kind of like a mad scientist behind your music because you're really, you know, somebody who's been playing this music and for so long, you really are not afraid to try new things when making music, right? I know my limits, you know, I, I know what, I think I kind of know what works and what doesn't. And I know like, like kind of like how to separate my personal stuff that I think if I would try, it would have been a horrible idea, especially <laughs> vocals, you know, like I, I, I often thought about vocals um, because I do have a melodic kind of voice if I want to. But I just don't want to go there. I don't want to, like, I was like, it would ruin this thing, you know, because this thing, this 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 voice of mine, it's very primal. It's something that came out of nowhere. I didn't even knew I had it, you know, and became like a trademark, you know. It's one of those, it's like, like Lamy's voice or um, um, it's unique. It's, it's uh, you hear it, you know it's Max, you know, and... You know, and a lot of times I, I ask myself, I could like learn to sing and be make songs that are more approachable and bigger, but I'm not interested in that. You know, but I do agree with the other part, the scientist part. I like to fuse stuff. You know, especially like, this record, I was joking, calling the tribal death trash, yep. and it's exactly what it is because it's got all the tribal grooves and percussion, and could, actually could have a little more even. Um, and then got the the trash that I love that I never went away because I still love, you know, when I listen to, you know, Power Trip and Municipal Waste and Toxic Holocaust is is great, you know. And then Death Metal, of course, you know, always Immolation, uh, Necroth, you know, Gate Creeper and Outer Heaven and all these great bands, you know. Uh, and the album even have a little bit of black metal. Which is, you know, <laughs> I, I got some reminiscence of uh, Morbid Visions on this it does, record. It does, man. It has like blood on the street and demonized. There's full on dark funeral shit going on there, <laughs> which is cool because I again I'm not afraid to throw it in there because it's what I listen to. You know, it's what I think you're supposed to play what you like. I think that's how it works. You know, I always thought of that. My whole music, my whole career, all the way from the Sepultura. Uh, material to nail bomb to soul fly it's always been what we like we play what we listen to and what we feel inspired at that time and we put it in the you know so you know you can tell um the shifts too like you listen to chaos ad you could tell we were listening to different things we started to listen to new york hardcore and biohazard you know and I know that manifest was about that Brazilian prison. Right, you know, and then if you listen to to Roots, Brazilian music came became a big part of it. And then if you listen to Nail Bomb, definitely the industrial, you know, madness that we're listening to a lot of, you know, me and Alex listen to a lot of Skinny Puppy and Frontline Assembly and Ministry and, you know, God Flesh and stuff like that. So 
it's cool. You play what we what you you love. That's how it is. I think that's great. You know, like you you kind of kind of play what you want to hear. And I think it's so cool that Soulfly maintains this thing. Even even especially in Ritual, I think Ritual is more than any other record. It has a lot of my own personal musical tastes are in Ritual. You know, with the death metal and the trash and the black metal, you know, it's like it's all there. So, and it and it's it's uh, somehow it works, fits in, and uh, it's still so fly, but with the with with a different flavor, with a different vibe, you know. Yeah, definitely. I feel like you take inspiration, like when when it comes to both your lyrics and your sound. You know, you're looking at different styles of music, but you look at different subject matters from religion to politics. Is it fair to say that you take inspiration from both an internal and an external source? I really don't like writing lyrics. You know, I never mm-hmm. like it's, it's it's like totally a, 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 like a mandatory thing that it's like that breaks my heart. It's like homework. You know, mm-hmm. like for me the fun part is riffs. And making the riffs is where I, that's my world. It's like, it's totally, I'm born for that. And then it come, comes to lyrics, it's be like, oh, it's agonizing kind of process. And I know a lot of great stuff come came out of it, you know. Um, really inspiring stuff for people, you know, like Refuse Resist and Eye for an Eye, you know. and uh, But it's not my favorite thing to do but you know i when it all when it all puts together i like it you know i enjoy when it's when it's when it clicks in like what i say you know when it clicks like like i was extremely happy when we finish the song ritual because to me ritual uh, kind of a song that's like i can put uh you know toe to toe with primitive or eye for an eye or roots you know it's like one of those and then that behind the eyes i put that toe to toe with arise or beneath the remains you know so it's uh it's definitely cool to 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 see those songs uh come to life in new records like that you know and and uh it, it and in the end it, it did work but i'm not a big fan of writing lyrics never been <laughs> i don't think anybody is they always say that that's the worst part that is the worst part mm-hmm. you know it's like and I'm um, not much of a writing guy to start with. I don't write diaries, you know. Uh, so it's like, it's kind of an unnatural kind of thing, you know. It's like, it's a bit like mandatory, like homework. Like you have to do it. You, you, you know, the producer is like your teacher. Come on, man. You got to do it, you know. Uh, but it, it, when, you, when you do it with somebody that cares, like Josh on the album, then it's cool. Because like, we work on the, on the words and change a lot of the stuff, and, um, it, which is it's just like the way it's supposed to be. You know? And in some songs, there was a lot of meaning behind the song, like Blood on, on the Streets was a true story about a neighborhood, Navajo girl that was murdered. Yeah, you know? So it was no, like okay. fucking, it's like a really, really true, heavy, powerful um, dark story, you know, that we had to tell it on the song, you know, and and uh, to me, the, those are almost like documentary songs. They're like manifest. Yeah, manifest is like that. Um, I think, like uh, for sure, um, blood on the street. It's like it's a subject. I read it, and we tried to make it into into uh, like a documentary kind of song, you know. And now there's one other question I'd like to ask you is um, kind of going into the music. Uh, you know, we got Psychosis by Cavalier Conspiracy. We got Ritual by Soulfly. We're hearing Roots and Beneath the Remains and Arise and all that stuff. Can we be expecting anything from Kill or Be Killed anytime soon? Because that's what I'm asking if what's next. I better take a drink for that. <laughs> <laughs> Kill or Be Killed, it is what it is, man. It's like very um slow process you know and uh as of right now we don't have nothing really planned uh, we're, we're all touring yeah you know i'm touring troy's in europe uh i think greg is in australia so we're all in different continent right now uh touring you know so eventually we'll get together but i, do, I have no idea when you okay. know but it will happen for sure okay. it's like it's still alive it's still a great project um it will get it will get done but i just don't know when 
Wings of Feather and Wax. That's probably one of my favorite songs you've ever done, period. That so. was fun, man. You know, that came out of nowhere with a really um, an orthodox, almost like happy, one of my few happy riffs I had, you know. It was a, was a melodic, almost like a Misfits melodic riff, and then they put the stuff on it. I put my, my trash in the middle of it, and uh, that project's really interesting because it's almost like it's... The, the, the combination of the Linger Escape Plan, Mastodon, Soulfly should not work on paper. It's like, exactly. it's, should, it, this is not going to work. This is going to be, this is a horrible idea. <laughs> but don't do it. And, but, and then we do it and it's great. It, for some reason, it works. It's, one of, it's, it's alchemy, brother. <laughs> Before you know it, you'll be collaborating with like a, an alternative rock band like Smashing Pumpkins. I don't know. I don't know about that. You know, kind of early, but, uh, you know, it's definitely. Uh, definitely fun and um, again it's go against the natural order how killer bq works but i love it you know and i want to do more awesome well max it's always great to see you thank you brother yep everybody yeah. max cavalera of soulfly pickup ritual if you haven't already we'll see you next time on heavy new york everybody stay metal oh yeah